Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So today, the 20th of September, could be the day, as mentioned, that uh, Microsoft starts making the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update generally available to the public. And um, that means if it does start rolling out today, um, they would use a phased controlled staggered rollout. So not all devices would start getting the update um, um, at the get go. Now, as mentioned previously, Microsoft has never officially confirmed today, the 20th of September, to be the release date for the operating system. But there are sources that are suggesting that today could be the day. And if it doesn't roll out uh, today, um, it could possibly start rolling out later this week or later this month. And if not this month, then in October or November. Now, if it does start rolling out today, uh, that would be around about 7 or 8 o'clock tonight in my region. And as of posting this video, we are nearing um, half past 12. That's after midday in my region. So just a couple of hours to go uh, in my part of the world if today is the day the feature update becomes generally available. Now, my reason for posting actually is um, just to give you a heads up that if you are enrolled in the beta or release preview channels in the Windows 11 Insider program, is that you have to unenroll um, unenroll your device um, to officially carry on using version 22H2, which is currently being tested in those channels, and um, before the feature update becomes generally available. And as mentioned, that could be quite soon. So just to give you a heads up. And to do this, um, as many of you may know, but just to do a quick recap, you would have to head to your settings, head over to Windows Update, head over to Windows Insider Program, which I'm not signed up to, but if you are an insider and you click on um, the Windows Insider Program, uh, you'll get to this page, which is a screenshot. And um, if you are signed up to the beta and release preview channels, um, you would have to click on Stop Getting Preview Builds, which will open up the drop down menu and then you will have to toggle on unenroll this device when the next version of Windows releases. And it says here, turn this on to stop getting preview boards when the next major release of Windows launches to the public as mentioned. Until then, your device will continue to get insider boards to keep it secure. You'll keep all your apps, drivers and settings even after you stop getting the, uh, the preview boards. Now, as mentioned, to officially carry on using Windows 11, version 22H2 and having to opt out and to opt out of the um, Insider program, you have to toggle unenroll this device when the next version of Windows releases. Now, if you don't do this before the, the, the feature update does uh, get rolled out to the general public, which as mentioned could be um, uh, as early as today, um, then um, you will have to roll your system back within 10 days with uh, to prevent you from doing a clean install completely. So to do this, just to do a quick recap, um, you would have to head to System and click on Recovery. Now, I'm not signed up to the Insider program, but if you are, you'd have to click on Go Back before uh, within 10 days. And um, that's to prevent you from doing a clean uh, reinstall of your Windows 11 operating system. So just a heads up just to keep you posted that um, because the feature update could start rolling out later today that um, you need to unenroll as mentioned to carry on officially using Windows 11 version 22H2 and to get out of the Insider program. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.